What's your definition of alternate energy? It's one thing for someone to say they've got a viable alternate energy source, but then how do you make it available to the public in a widespread, accessible, and affordable way? In fact, how do you turn research and development into practical applications that work for you? The thing that really energizes me the most is our work on the research and development on appliances, equipment, and vehicles. It's all about using the Propane Education and Research Council, PERC, as a tech incubator. We have probably about 30 different products under development right now. And you've launched what? Well, we've launched school buses, forklifts, lawnmowers. It, it's an incredible list of, of equipment uh, that uh, just keeps growing. As the list of propane run equipment grows, so do the important and essential safety mechanisms. The critical thing is building safety into those vessels. Uh, the propane tanks are 20 times more puncture resistant than a typical gasoline tank. The fuel system is designed with automatic shutoff valves, so if there was a break in a fuel line that the tank would automatically shut itself off. It would off. know that because of the loss of pressure. Exactly. So everything is uh, uh, designed to maximize safety. But the biggest challenge for PERC is finding new ways to use propane beyond the traditional and seasonal demands, like space heating or cooking. And our challenge with our technology incubation is to find sort of these off-peak, non-seasonal demands like lawnmowers and irrigation engines and year-round demand like vehicles and buses and shuttles. Perks Innovations aren't limited to new products. The organization is working to find new uses for propane in disaster relief. Emergency response and, and disaster response are really uh, uh, where propane shines. I grew up in Louisiana when Katrina hit New Orleans, I, it was personal. Having propane as an alternative to gasoline, uh, especially for generators, comes critically important. Well, because it's easier to replenish at that point, you can just put a, get another canister. Get, a, get another canister. And because it is so portable and it has such wide flexibility, can be used for cooking, heating, generators, lighting, you name it and you can move it into a disaster area when the grid goes down. Having something that you can touch that actually services some energy need in a home or a business or a farm, it's energizing. Every pun intended. Uh, every pun intended because you can measure the difference that you make. You measure the difference that you make in the economics of the, for the end user. You can measure the difference that you make uh, in the environmental impact of doing the work. And once you have measured that difference, from new products to safety measures to new ways to help in a disaster, that's when you have made the difference.